whether you're just jamming out for fun with a few of your friends or you're practicing that tech skill date in and date out for that next tournament, Super Smash Bros. is a game that can be played in an infinite amount of ways. Today, we're going to be showing you more of the unconventional ways to play Super Smash Bros. The first, and possibly my favorite mode, is called the FGC or Fighting Game Mode. Now this mode dates back all the way to Brawl, but with all the new features and customization options that Ultimate offers, it's back and better than ever. But first, you'll need a little bit of setup. Select Smash, then go to create a rule set. Set the style to stamina and put the stamina to 300 or whatever you feel is good for you. Final Smash meter on, items off, and set the random stage selection to the King of Fighters Stadium only. Finally, Set it to first to two wins, put the launch rate to about 1.2 in order to avoid getting hit by an infinite. Now, if you don't have the King of Fighters Stadium stage, don't worry, this mode can also be played on Final Destination. What makes this mode different from a regular game of Smash is how it mimics the gameplay of traditional 2D fighting games like Street Fighter or King of Fighters. The adjusted launch rate combined with Final Smashes can lead to some truly amazing combos. So grab a friend and get ready to square up in FGC mode. Now, if you want your Smash Bros. fix with a little bit of an RPG boss battle mixed in, then I have the game just for you. This game is called Slay the Beast, a game made for four players that was made popular by the YouTuber Ericsson Gaming back in Smash 4, and it returns in Ultimate. In this mode, a group of three heroes will have to work together to defeat one very overpowered boss enemy, but before you get started, let me show you how to set it up. First, select Smash from the main menu, and choose Create a Rule Set. Set the style to stamina, and set the stamina to 500. Final smash meter is set to on, turn all items off, and make sure the damage handicap is set to on as well. This will let you adjust each character's individual HP. After this, go to the advanced tab and set the underdog boost to on. This setting gives the side currently losing a little bit of a power boost in order to even up the odds a little bit. Now you're ready to pick a stage and characters. Big stages like New Pork City, Temple or Big Battlefield work really well in this mode. Once your stage is selected, change the battle to a team battle, pick three players to be your heroes and put them all on one team. The hero team should choose traditionally good characters like Mario, Link, or Hero. The remaining player will act as the big boss on a team all by themselves. Now this player should choose a typically evil character like Bowser, Ganondorf, or Ridley. Set the boss's HP to 500 and the three heroes HP to 50 each. The goal of this game is simple. The heroes need to do whatever they can to take out the boss, and the boss needs to do everything in their power to ensure the heroes will fail. Who will be victorious? And that's all we have for you today. We hope you enjoy these new and inventive ways to spice up your Smash Bros. experience. Make sure you stay tuned to Squad for all your Smash Bros. and gaming needs. See you later.